more colloquially referred to as Dracula's Castle. <laughs> Vladian Teller was the inspiration for with these narrow stone passageways, what it was like maybe hundreds of years ago walking up into this castle. Legacy of impaling people and putting them on stake. I might have to do it just like stealthily. Okay, good morning from Bron, Romania. Bron is a, what probably used to be a small village located outside Brazov, which today is a bustling hub of tourism and shops all built around Bron Castle, which you may have heard more colloquially referred to as Dracula's Castle. It is referred to that way because of Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Tepes. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his last name. Vlad the Impaler was a 14th century king or prince that ruled in this part of Romania and he had a very brief connection to this castle, Bron Castle. There are reports that he stayed here maybe, and if he did, it was very brief, but he certainly did not live here and it was definitely not his castle. And he, Vlad the Impaler, gets that nickname because of, I guess, his cruelty to his victims and his legacy of impaling people and putting them on stakes. In reality, he was a very important historical figure because at that time period, the Ottoman Turks were actively trying to make their way into Europe. And he was actually a critical figure in stopping their spread into this part of Southeastern Europe and potentially spreading further into Central and Western Europe. So an important figure in history, at least in European history, despite his supposed reports of cruelty. That individual, Vlad the Impaler, was the inspiration for Irish novelist Bram Stoker to write the original Dracula in the late 19th century. That somehow <laughs> transformed over the decades into this being Dracula's castle. Either way, an entire industry has been built around this. I'm not so much visiting it today because of the Dracula myth. I'm visiting it because it's an awesome castle <laughs> that's located a very short distance from Brasov. And if you're in Romania and you want to see castles and you should see a few of them because there are a lot here, this is a really great one to see because it's beautiful. It sits up high on a hill and it's magnificent to look at. So right now I'm gonna take the long walk uphill to the castle, tour it, bring you guys along with me. I'm not actually 100% sure if I'm allowed to film inside. I think I can. I might have to get an extra ticket. I don't know. But we'll see. If not, I might have to do it just like stealthily. Let's take a walk up the hill and uh, I can give you a little bit more insight about the real history behind this castle. So the real history behind this castle is that it was actually originally built in the 13th century, serving as a citadel and fortress, likely for invading Germanic tribes from the north. It was destroyed in battle, rebuilt in the late 14th century, 1382, serving again as a citadel and fortress until the 19th century when it was converted into an administrative building. Today, it is vacant and serves as, like I said, a major tourist attraction for visitors wanting to come and live this myth of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Or if you just want to see a really amazing medieval castle with views like the one I'm looking at right now. There's a huge festival going on down there. Massive festival, actually. I don't know, that might be worth 
checking out after I'm done in this castle, actually. They probably have good food and beer. some of its medieval charm with these narrow stone passageways that gives you a feel like what it was like maybe hundreds of years ago walking up into this castle. You can hear that festival music coming up to this balcony up here and it kind of does detract from the like spooky medieval castle vibe. This like raging Transylvania festival happening right over there. So just beyond the walls of this terrace, which is a beautiful vantage point to overlook all of these mountains, is the original border between Transylvania, the region we're in now, and Wallachia, which is the neighboring region. In fact, you can still see the stone defense wall that guarded this castle, the original wall from the 14th century, with a good chunk of it maintained just below the borders of the castle. And that is Ron Castle, or if you like, Dracula's Castle. So yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here with the raging Transylvanian fair behind me. I'm sure you can hear the music very well. Very, very, very touristy. Do not expect to come here and have like an authentic Romanian experience, but nonetheless, it's still really cool. And it's still a beautiful, you know, mid medieval Middle Ages castle. So in any event, it was fun. I'm gonna end this for the day here. I'm gonna eat and uh, head back to Brazov. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care from Bron Castle in Bron, Romania. See ya.